Greetings, and welcome to episode 76. In today's episode, we'll be discussing preaching to the choir, <clears throat> the upside and the downside of that, because I noticed lately when you see an important discussion, you only see the people that already agree with that person in that particular group. So that's what I'm going to be discussing. And if you're ready, let's get started. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, preaching to the choir. Uh, let's get into first what that actually means. And then we'll discuss the upside and the downside of it. And this isn't, I'm not trying to make you feel stupid or I'm not trying to be condescending or anything like that. I need you and maybe someone that's watching that doesn't know what that means to understand what that means to me. Preaching to the choir. I hold a belief and uh, when I speak to you about it, you believe what I believe. That's preaching to the choir. And what I've seen lately, because I do, I do watch other people's videos, and I see, and I see the world around me, and I do take part in discussions and debates outside of any type of media or medium, whatever you want to call it. I guess what I'm trying to get at is <clears throat> it isn't so much that there are people that agree with us when we speak about something. And when when I'm using this term, preaching to the choir, I'm speaking in spiritual terms, in terms of what could be viewed as the evolution of the, the human spirit in that we're all witnessing in our day and age. But there's fewer people participating than you would think would want to participate. There's 7 billion people on the planet, and I see less than 5% total that are involved in it. And granted, that's a lot of people, but 5%, even 10%, 20%, that actually believe there is a shift occurring and believe that we are evolving as a species. <coughs> I mean, however you view that, uh, spiritually, scientifically, it's happening. It's occurring as we speak. But to get people to get emotionally and, and mentally invested in this, when we speak about it, we usually are speaking to someone that already agrees with us. That's a problem. I mean, there is... <clears throat> excuse me. There are things that I appreciate when speaking to other people that already agree with me. I appreciate that they agree with me. It helps to reinforce what I believe, helps to reinforce what they believe. And that's just saying that sounds kind of negative because we shouldn't be reinforcing beliefs we should just be and it does it gives a it gives a sense of relief that you're not alone in feeling or thinking this way and i guess that goes along even you could go work the same way in politics or religion or whatever but in the context with which i'm using this most people think it's hokey or or you're going to burn in hell, or they, you just you don't get taken seriously, and it, it becomes the stuff of laughter and ridicule instead of being taken seriously. These things work. These things help. And if more people would take notice and participate, they'd start seeing it themselves. It... it <clears throat> Excuse me. Instead of waiting around for someone to show up and change you, you begin to see that it's imperative that you change yourself. Ooh, excuse me. Lots of things going on in the innards, huh? <coughs> anyway, 
But like I'm saying, the upside is you don't feel alone. You feel like there's somebody out there you can talk to. The more people you know that are actively working in the same direction you are, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, more people to talk to. It doesn't only reinforce, let's say, your beliefs, like I said a minute ago. It also reinforces that this change is actually happening. But the downside to preaching to the choir is, okay, you're preaching to the choir. We all agree. But having a choir is all well and good, but what we need is new, new recruits, so to speak. We need more people interested in the evolution of our species because basically that's what it is. That's what it comes down to. And part of the reason why it's not happening at any rapid pace. I mean, I can't, who am I? I'm just one man on a planet with seven billion people. I am nobody special to be saying, well, this is, this is taking far too long. <laughs> but at the same token, I am sure, I am 100% positive that this is taking too long. Not to complete the cycle, but to even get it initiated, to get it started. As long as we have only a choir and not a congregation, that's just to say you're preaching to the choir. Okay, are you preaching to the choir because the church is empty? Or are you preaching to the choir because you want that positive feedback? Some people won't step outside of that box because they're only going to deal with people that will give them positive feedback on a given subject. But like I said, we need new recruits. We need people to start seeing this. We need people to start actively participating in the evolution of their own species and stop being so wrapped up in, well, what color is that person? Is that person gay? Uh, you know, does that person have a past? Are they on drugs? I mean, these things do not matter. What matters is from the point that you meet this person. The point they enter your life, that is th from there forward, that is what's important. And I, and I realize part of the reason why it's taking so long to catch hold and get its own momentum. And these aren't new things. These are things that we've known for thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years. And they say, oh, it's new age. It's not new age. We're picking up where we left off when we stopped using these uh, different techniques and principles in our lives. And part of the reason why it's so difficult, why you find yourself preaching to the choir more often than not, because we're trying to evolve within a system that refuses to evolve because it benefits a certain group of people that are terrified that if this evolution thing catches on, we lose control, i.e. we lose power, i.e. we lose money. So the system refuses to evolve with our species, and it has the detrimental effect of holding that species back. It slows the evolutionary process down to a slow crawl. And granted, I'm happy to be moving at all, in any direction. But I noticed that, wow, preaching to the choir. There's a, I don't know if you've heard of him. <clears throat> His name is Dr. Stephen Greer. And he is the foremost UFO expert that I've seen. A lot of people make documentaries. A lot of people have photos. A lot of people have been reading up on it for years. But this man is actually in the trenches digging up the witnesses. Uh, starting programs so people can get involved in their own evolution. The funny part to me is that 
He's out there. He's getting some new recruits. But for the most part, I noticed that he too is preaching to the choir. He's accumulating those that already agree with his point of view, whether it be the UFO point of view or the the way through this mess that we're in is through the spirit. He's he's got people that already agree with him there. So in in that sense, preaching to the choir is good because yes, he's reaching a lot of people and he's changing a lot of minds. So he is actually getting new recruits. But for the most part, I I noticed that he's more collecting people that were already heading in that direction in the first place. And that's awesome. But that means if, if someone like Dr. Greer can only uh, acquire choir members, people that already are heading in that direction, what does that say about the, our evolution? What does that say about our species? If someone that's making that big a splash can only pick up like-minded others, what does that say about our species? Does that mean evolution isn't going to happen? Does that mean that the, the, the system with which, within which we live, does that, does, does that mean we have, it is having that detrimental of an effect on us as a species? That people are so, what's the word I can use? Because the way I see it, and I see a lot of people in my, I, I work at a gas station. And I see a lot of people come and go. And I see that these people are in such mental and emotional pain. Such excruciating pain that all they want to do is keep their head down and get through the day. Not really conducive of an evolutionary process. I mean, you have to be an active participant in this to get it to build up more steam, more, more momentum. But people just want to keep their head down. They're in such pain because their job sucks, their pay sucks, the, the bills are too much. They're uh, a flat tire or a blown engine away from poverty, utter just ruin. <clears throat> I can't say I'm not in that boat myself. But I try not to let it get to me to the point where I can't hold my head up and say, I'm still, you know, this stuff is happening and this stuff is real and it will affect me, but there are more important things to do with my energy than lament my situation. I, I, I don't see it from the bare bones perspective of this is all I got, this is all I got, this is all I need to worry about, this is all I need to... Uh, what most people consider their biggest problems in their life are back for me. I am more concerned with the evolution of our species because, and granted, I don't expect to see this whole thing come to fruition in my lifetime. It could, not bloody likely, but it could. So I sit back and I worry about how I deal with this. And I deal with it <clears throat> by acknowledging, yes, <clears throat> I have bills. Yes, I could stand to make more money. Yes, uh, a broken bone or a malfunctioning vehicle could send me down below the poverty line. I am like, can't even say I'm hovering above the poverty line. I can say that I'm, I'm okay. I'm not homeless. I'm actually doing... I'm doing well for me. Let's put it that way. And yes, I've done better, but I've also done worse. So, and that's how I view it. I've done better, but I've done worse. I need to focus on things that can help in the betterment of mankind. Because like I said, you know, I might not see this come to fruition in my lifetime, but every drop raises the ocean. So as long as I keep moving in the same direction as the rest of the choir, it will eventually pan out. Eventually. Eventually, the people that are in charge, the powers that be, will start to see that this 
can be nothing but beneficial to our species to move in this direction. And I'm okay to wait for that. I'm not willing to go out and raise, you know, you know, take up arms against the powers that be because their system is slowing the evolution of man. But I am willing to make videos about it, you know, make videos about teaching different techniques. But th therein lies the problem, the same problem I see with, with uh, Dr. Greer and many other that I see uh, with different aspects of our similar movement I watch videos and I I I I want if I drop a name I want you to go check these people out they're on YouTube uh Dr. Stephen Greer uh Teal Swan these are excellent teachers and the way Dr. Greer teaches he he teaches from a point of extreme importance he tries to stress the importance of adopting an evolutionary mindset to bring forth the spirit, to bring forth the emotion, the mind, to 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 try to hone these things and get them focused in the right direction. Teal Swan teaches different techniques, like I teach different techniques. Now she gets sometimes gets a little more in depth, <clears throat> but she's been doing this a hell of a lot longer than I have, and I actually had to stop watching her videos so I wasn't making. So I wasn't copying her videos because I'm trying to, when I make my videos, I'm, I try to speak solely from life experience because teaching you something that I only just heard from someone else seems a little disingenuous to me. And if I could just tell you, you know, you know I learned this, I just learned this, I'm going to point you, I'm going to tell you my take on it. I'm not going to tell you I've learned it. I'm going to tell you this is what's up. This is where I learned it. Go check it out for yourself. If it comes to that. But so far, I think I have enough material. I'm 41 years old. And by no means does 76 videos cover the entirety of my life. I will probably go back over some of the things I've already talked about. I will fill in some of the gaps that I know I left and some I left on purpose to get you wondering because let's not let's face it you don't want to experience this through me you may be part of the choir I may be part of your choir but you still need to go out and experience these things on your own you can't just experience them through me likewise I can't just experience them through my favorite people to, to, to go watch their videos and like I said I'm talking about uh, Dr. Greer go check him out he's headed in the right direction from what I can tell from what I can see and I would say to anybody that uh, is a choir member or new recruit go check him out I mean I'm not telling you that you have to see it the way I do I'm telling you go check it out for yourself see if you see what I see and then maybe we can as choir members get down and toss ideas back and forth because I'm, I'm just because I am a little frustrated with preaching to the choir. I'm a little frustrated. Now, don't don't get that twisted in that. Oh, he hates that. No, I'm a little frustrated that there aren't. I guess I'm frustrated that the choir isn't bigger. I'm frustrated that people aren't stepping up and saying, you know, I find this interesting. How do I get involved? Because a lot of people are afraid of what it makes them look like. Oh, I'm a Christian. I couldn't possibly. You couldn't possibly evolve because you're a Christian. But I get why they are so hesitant. I get why and even an atheist. Well, it's been branded as hokey. Well, okay, I'll give you that. But try it anyway. There's a lot of things. I never go by the critics. When a critic comes out and bashes a movie, it makes me want to see that movie. Believe it or not. I'm more likely to go see a movie if the critics bash that movie than if nobody would have said anything at all. Because, I, really? Now I want to see why you think it's so terrible. <laughs> and just because a critic says something is wonderful doesn't make me want to jump up and rush out and see it. If I had a mind to see it, I'll go see it. If I had no intention of seeing it, I won't see it. But then again, if I had no intention of seeing it and someone bashes it, uh, now I want to see it to see if it sucked for the reason you say it sucked, 
Because I might think it was going to suck for a completely different reason. Which is why I didn't want to see it. <laughs> now I'm getting all complicated. <clears throat> anyway, getting back on track. When we preach to the choir, it does have its benefit. And like I said, I don't have any, what's the word, concern? Well, I, and see, now I'm being a little dishonest. I, I do, it irritates me a little, a little. I mean, don't get me wrong. I enjoy uh, enlightened discourse or debate or even just lighthearted discussions about the the subjects that move me in the right direction. But that doesn't mean that I wouldn't like to get new recruits to change someone's mind to even just take a look at it because these things can do nothing but benefit and they don't just benefit you for each person that says, hey, I want to go look at that. And if they see something they like in there and keep heading in that direction, that benefits the entire population of the earth and see people don't see it that way people mostly see this from a kind of selfish point of view where they're still out to benefit them and granted they're using these these really good energies and they're using these really good techniques but they're really out to only benefit them they're not really out to benefit the entirety of the species well, that's part of what I would like to do, is benefit the entire species, all seven billion of us. That would be nice, wouldn't it? But, uh, yeah, anyway, we're getting on to the 20-minute mark. We're a little bit past it. I've cut my shows down by 10 minutes. That way I can have a little bit left over and we can discuss it at, at a later date. But so far, this is how I feel about preaching to the choir and I hope I didn't get all muddled in in the, in the uh, discussion and in the uh, explanation of what I mean by that but if you have enjoyed this video please click the like button you can favorite it if you want uh, if you would like to keep coming back and getting more information or you just like the sound of my voice <laughs> click the subscribe button but until next time, you hang in there.